guys, welcome back to another video. We have been working um, on our cedar bowls. We have gotten pretty far. So that bowl that mom is carving has been cut off of this one that's a little bit thinner than some of the others. And this one is what you would start out with. And this is what you would start out with. You would get some coals and burn down the middle, make it deeper, and then scrape. For this one, we have chopped off um, some of the bottom, and we have scraped out um, a lot. So those are the stages. But what you want to do is to want to get some um, coals out, hot coals out of the fire, and then you would want to put them in this one for example and you could um um then you would wait and then you would blow out um out and then you could scrape them out and just scrape the inside out so it would get deeper mom do you have anything to say um no you did a pretty good job of explaining it um like Haven said, we just started out with some cedar logs and um, just placed some hot coals or a tiny little fire um, at the in the center of your log, and it'll gradually burn down. Um, we've just filled up this old water bottle and loosened the cap just a little bit, and we can uh, drip water around the edges to kind of control the burn um, so that it doesn't burn too thin along the edge of the log. Um, and then we found that instead of tending a small fire, it's almost easier to have a campfire kind of established where you can grab these sticks that have the coal on the end and just kind of twist and break off the hot coal into the center of the cedar log. And um, if you blow on the coals, the heat kind of helps dig further down into the log. I think blowing on it speeds up the process. Um, so we've been working on this for a couple of days. Um, like Haven said, the small bowl, we're almost finished. Um, it started out looking like this. Um, so we sawed off just a small chunk and then started the coal burning process. So we've gotten almost, I think we've gotten down as far as we want to go. Um, we just kind of skinned it with a knife to get all the rough bark off. Still need to work on the inside. We might try some sandpaper and then um, once we get it cleaned up, we will coat it in a food grade kind of glaze to make it hopefully waterproof and um, something that we can drink out of. Now, I did forget something. If you do not have a knife, you can go out and find some good scraping rocks yeah. and scrape the inside out. For example, that and might be one outside. of them. Um, yeah, and you can scrape the outside too. Wrapping up our bowl video, um, hope you enjoyed. Just wanted to say again what an easy project this is. It was great fun for our family. Um, we chose the cedar wood just because it is so pretty and just naturally pink. Um, we were splitting firewood and just noticed how beautiful it was and decided to turn it into a little art project. Um, the other thing I wanted to point out is the importance of the bowl. Um, in a survival situation or, you know, back a long time ago when our ancestors lived outside, the bowl would have been really useful for carrying water, boiling water, uh, transporting food or salves or whatever. Um, but 
bowl comes in very handy. And we're definitely proud of it. We plan on leaving it back here in our boulder shelter. Um, it's beautiful and useful. Well, thanks for watching and hopefully we'll see you soon.